Hey guys, welcome to West 92. Basically just a vlog about my life. There's an annoying dog across the fence, so we might start barking at any time soon. I guess not. As you can see, I'm filming in a uh, side of my house. I'm currently living in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, I guess that's a topic we can talk about today. Phoenix, Arizona, and other places I've lived. Um, my mother's womb. I, I don't really remember too much from there. Basically nothing. I, you know, I don't think too many people remember. We'll have to find out. We'll ask people about that later. Actually, question of the day. Do you remember anything about your pre-birth life and if you remember anything about it? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> uh, after that, I was, my mother gave birth to me in Salt Lake City, Utah. I lived there for six years, and I went to kindergarten and preschool. And uh, a good memory about preschool was uh, the first day my brother Mitch attended, <laughs> he ended up uh, pooping his pants. He's wearing a diaper, but they had to call my mom and uh, have him uh, change his diaper in front of the whole class, and everyone was staring at him. Good memory. And then also, uh, one day, me and my friends, we lived right next to an Albertsons, and um, <laughs> we always used to ride our bikes over there. And um, I remember one day I didn't wear shoes to the grocery store. Yeah, anyway, we were riding our bikes back, and um, I was barefoot, like I said, and I was riding my bike next to my friend Taylor. And, you know, I was pedaling, and what happened was, here's his, uh, here's the wheel right here, spinning, and my foot was right here, it rubbed against it for like three seconds, and ripped all the skin off my toe. Terrible experience, I, we ended up riding my bike back, and uh, I was just my cousin Melissa there, and she was freaking out and didn't know what to do. So, I mean, no stitches or anything, no lasting damage, but it was still horrific for a small uh, preschool-aged child. And uh, the biggest memory of that was that I had to graduate from preschool with no shoes on. Terrible, I know. Pretty sick stuff. But then, uh, um, other memory, my first day of kindergarten, we went to the playground, and I didn't know anybody there, so I told my brother Sam, who happens to be 18, I said, Sam, can you help me make friends? So what he does is he uh, brings me to the playground, and he grabs this kid and drags him over, and he says, You, be his friend, and points to me. The kid takes one look at me and then says, No! And he runs away. That was a great self-esteem booster, I know, right? So after that, uh, at the age of six, me, my family and I, we moved to Billings, Montana. And uh, that was a pretty good memory. It was a great place to grow up, you know, for things I remember. We used to live right next to this big cliff. And what it was, it was this big cliff, like, you know, like 100 feet tall. And then there's like a ton of like rocks and stuff. And I spent my whole childhood there. <laughs> we had stupid stuff, like we'd put our, we'd put our uh, shirts over our knees and we would like do somersaults down like the hill part and it was like rocks and dirt and stuff it was terrible like I'm surprised I'm not dead right now but um, then we moved to a different house in Billings and uh, a good memory from there was there was a farm nearby and um, we used to always go out into the field and like throw mud we'd have like a uh, mud ball fights <laughs> and then during the summers when uh, they'd be doing irrigation there'd be ditches and we'd go swim in them yeah not the most sanitary childhood <laughs> and then uh Summer after fifth grade, uh, we moved to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, land of the Amish, as a matter of fact, and um, we only lived there for a year, and um, it was a beautiful place, it was so green, and uh, not much better than this place, you know, I, we had this green background, but like, as you can see, not much grass, there's some grass in the background over there, but like, you know, see the rest is rocks, Phoenix, Arizona is definitely not a very uh, green place, but it has its own special kind of beauty, I guess, um, so yeah, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the biggest thing was uh, they called fireflies lightning bugs, and there were tons of lightning bugs everywhere. Beautiful place. Then after that, my family and I moved to uh, Fargo, North Dakota, summer after uh, sixth grade, and uh, we lived there for uh, most of my beginning teenage years. I'm, I'm 16 right now, going to be 17 December 1st. But um, anyway, the only way I can describe Fargo is that white stuff right there. Fargo has an average winter temperature that is lower than Alaska, as a matter of fact. The wind chill uh, during the winter, it actually got down to negative 40 degrees. Uh, yeah, much dimmer than Phoenix. Right now, it's I'd say about 60 out. It's, it's beautiful weather, but yeah, this is about the winter temperature for the whole year, maybe down in the 40s. Gonna have to get on my big winter coat for that, but, but yeah, I lived there for like Fargo for four to five years, maybe. 
really big part of my life. We'll, we'll talk about that in one of my other videos. But um, yeah, now uh, junior year, I'm living in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm planning on becoming an architect when I grow up. So my dad signed me up for these engineering classes, and I guess that's kind of like architecture. I guess they have uh, architectural engineers. Not a big thing, but um, I emailed a bunch of colleges. And I'm actually planning on attending Cooper Union. It's in New York City. Look it up. Link in the sidebar. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but now I'm taking art classes. And uh, in the next couple of videos, I'll show you some of the art I'll make once I get into it. It's not, it starts next semester, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, thanks for watching my first uh, vlog ever. Uh, rate and subscribe. That would be awesome. See you guys later. You're watching West 92. <laughs>